Early one morning, Anansi the spider went to help Grandma Spider. He knocked on her door. Grandson, Grandma said as she greeted him with a hug. Anansi blushed. Hello, Grandma. Grandma Spider, said Anansi, do you have any work for me today? Sure, said Grandma Spider. I want you to plant some beans in my garden. Grandma showed Anansi what she wanted done in the garden. Then she went back into the house to fix some lunch. Anansi dropped beans into the small holes in the ground. The sun grew warm and then hot. By noon, Anansi was limp with the heat. It's hot and I'm getting thirsty. Anansi pulled the brim of his hat down to shield his face from the sun. Grandma Spider came to the porch with a large pitcher of fresh lemonade and called to him. Anansi, here's a cool drink for you. Thank you, Grandma, he said as he drank the cold sweet lemonade. I'm making your favorite meal, said Grandma. I'm cooking spicy beans. They'll be ready soon for our lunch. I love your spicy beans, said Anansi. He finished his lemonade and went back to his work. Grandma Spider returned to the kitchen. Grandma Spider looked for her bean spices, but the tins were empty. She called, Anansi, I need spices. I must go to the market. Will you be okay? Sure, Grandma, he answered. I'll be here in the garden. Stay away from that pot of beans. The beans are too hot and the pot is too heavy. You understand me, Anansi? Yes, ma'am. I understand you. I won't go near that pot of beans. The smell of yummy beans rose from the pot and drifted out the window right into Anansi's nose. Mmm! Anansi's nose twitched and his mouth began to water. Followed the smell into the kitchen until he was standing at the stove with the pot of beans right under his nose. Grandma said not to go near these beans. I better leave. He turned to go back to the garden, but the smell pulled at him. I'm sure it's all right just to smell the beans, he said to himself. Anansi lifted the lid and hot steam filled the air. Ah, Anansi took a deep breath of the steam. I'm sure it's all right to just taste the beans. Grandma won't have to know. He dipped Grandma Spider's big spoon into the pot. Anansi blew on the hot beans and tasted them. Ah, he spooned up some more. Slurp. He spooned and blew, slurped, he spooned and blew and slurped up spoonful after spoonful of the beans. Grandma will come back soon. I don't want to get caught, Anansi thought. I know, I'll put the beans in my hat and Grandma won't know. Anansi took off his hat and filled it full of steaming beans. As he put the lid back on the beans, he heard shouts from the garden. Hey, hey, get out of Grandma Spider's garden. Anansi saw a flock of birds eating the beans he had just planted. Some of the neighbors were waving and yelling. The scared birds flew through the open kitchen window. The neighbors ran to the porch and pounded on the door. Get out of Grandma's kitchen, you nasty birds. Anansi, let us in to help you. Anansi didn't know what to do. He had to hide the beans. Anansi, let us in, the neighbors yelled. The birds screeched and flapped, and Anansi looked around quickly. Anansi did the only thing he could think to do. He pulled the hat full of hot beans on his head and opened the door. The neighbors came in yelling and screaming and chasing out the flapping birds. When everything was quiet, they turned to see if Anansi was all right. 
There stood Anansi with tears streaming down his face. Anansi, did the birds hurt you? Anansi! The birds hadn't touched him, but the hot bean juices soaked his beautiful hair. He tried to sound cheerful when he said, Thanks, everybody. I'm fine. The birds are gone. You can all go home now. The neighbors looked at Anansi. Anansi, what's wrong? Why are you sweating? Were you scared? Were you hurt? No, I, I'm, I'm just hot and sweaty from working in the garden. I have to finish now, so you can go. The beans were burning Anansi's head, and he couldn't stand still. He danced from side to side and up and down, shaking the hat on his head. Anansi, that's a wonderful new dance. Let us watch. The beans were really burning Anansi's head now. The bean juice was running down his face. He shook his hat and danced until finally he could stand it no more. Yeah! Anansi shouted as he pulled the hat from his head. Beans flew everywhere. Then everyone stared at Anansi in surprise. His head was as bald as an egg. The beans had cooked his hair clean off. <laughs> the neighbors began to laugh. Look at Anansi. He was hiding beans in his head, and he cooked his hair right off his head. Anansi was so embarrassed that he ran into the garden and hid in the tall grass until it was dark. He stays in the tall grass a lot these days, and he isn't so crazy about beans anymore. <laughs>